Hi there, my beautiful birdies. Welcome back to the nest. Welcome if you're new here. So this was one of your requests was who is coming into your life in the sense I actually feel like the person that asked this was specifically about um, like type of friendships, that kind of thing, soul family. And that is my whole point with this video is like any type of person. It could be romantic. It could be um, platonic career wise anything it could even be a baby who knows uh, my intention here is to just be the next person that is coming into your life who are they what is their purpose in your life how are they going to affect you and then we're also going to pull some timing around when this person may be showing up okay so with that being said we have four beautiful pals with us today we have four different decks for you to choose from and four different crystals so pal number one we have uh great <laughs> we have a deck we do it's the zodiac tarot something around those lines and we have some black um tourmaline for pile number two we have the wandering moon tarot and some opalite for pile number three we have our third eye tarot with some angelite And for pile number four, we have our good oldie Lightseer Stereo with um, Unikite. All right. So, with that being said, uh, you can totally choose by the deck, you can choose by the crystal, you can choose also by the timestamps, okay? They are going to be down below, so if there is a significant number, a synchronicity that really calls to you, anything, um, feel free to choose to do that, okay? But whenever you are ready, I will see you over there. Hi there, my beautiful pond number one, welcome in to your reading. <laughs> so if you chose the black tourmaline and the zodiac tarot, you are definitely in the right place. Let's get into it. So in case you missed the intro, how this is going to go, this could be anyone, okay? It could be platonic, romantic, career-wise, just anything. Uh, we are going to look into who is coming in, what is their purpose, so what type of connection is it, and how will they affect your life, and then some timing, and also some final messages around how can you attract this person a little bit faster, okay? So with that being said, let's get here to your reading and get a card for who is this person i'll take both have the ten of pentacles with the magician oh my and what type of connection is this what is their purpose okay so we do have the tower this is interesting so one thing that is coming through, I feel like this person could show up in your life a little bit unexpectedly. Uh, I am getting two different things. They could be someone um, career wise, okay, that is coming through with the intention of this is going to be a career connection, but I'm also seeing this has a family connection. And to be honest, for some of you, it could be, this could be your spirit baby, okay? So, um, and I kind of feel like this is definitely happening unexpectedly. I don't, I don't mean that it's like, um, oh, they're going to show up tomorrow. <laughs> no, you're going to get pregnant tomorrow nothing like that uh but it could just be that your spirit baby wants to leave you a message wants to let wants to let you know hey this is this is who i am this is how our connection is going to be and this is how your life is going to transform with me but i definitely feel like whoever this person is um i'm also getting it could be like um a sibling-in-law or even like a parent-in-law but i'm getting more of a, like a younger energy here though um, but we also have the high priestess, so I do feel like you're already connected with this person spiritually in the 5D. That's why I'm kind of getting that it's more of like a spirit baby. That's kind of the vibe. Um, but I definitely feel like this is someone that I feel like they have amazing manifesting abilities. They could be an earth sign, especially Virgo, but we also have Gemini and Aquarius here. And I definitely feel like, and look at that, we even have here this little kid. Oh, I love this. But I, I feel like they are going to have a very youthful uh, spirit and youthful energy from the get-go. Uh, and, and like for all their life, I feel like they could be 80 and they're still like thriving, you know? Um, I feel like this is someone that sees life in a really beautiful light. I feel like they're hopeful. They're I feel like they're an optimistic, actually. And I feel like this is someone that is going to, is going to have a big 
path ahead and this could even be like an old soul um so they could have already incarnated in on earth a bunch of times um but i feel like they're going to be very wise from the get-go and again i feel like they're they're going to have a big big intuition so i feel like they could communicate very easily with like they could be great in mediumship they could receive a lot of channel messages they could have their psychic abilities really high um but i feel like they they could also be quite creative so i wouldn't be surprised i really feel like for a lot of you this is um like a spirit baby but even if it is like just someone career wise it could be someone that has a lot of creativity so they're going to help you with your creativity right um if it is like a sibling in law or something it could be that this is uh someone that is very creative and they are they're really wealthy actually but i feel like especially around creativity something that they create maybe even just creativity in terms of creating a business something that they create is going to be very wealthy and it's very abundant so i really feel like they're they're going to be quite successful in their life and then again here on the this girl's jumper we have like eyes so third eye right and we have like here we have the sun so leo i'm getting this has gemini uh the star that is aquarius that is really really beautiful i also feel like this person i, I feel like they're a little bit of um radical <laughs> i don't know i feel like they're really weird in the sense of like they don't fit in and they don't want to i feel like this is someone that is like this is my life and because i'm seeing this hair this short hair it's like one second it's really long but then i don't know i feel like cutting it and they cut it and then they let it grow a little bit again but then they're like i'm gonna shave it and they shave it and same with the clothing it's like sometimes i feel like dressing really traditionally but sometimes i just want to stand out and sometimes i just want to stay in my pajamas all day so i feel like this is someone that follows their own lines they go their own way and they're, they're like they don't apologize that is essentially it they don't apologize for who they are and they're very um stable with themselves okay and with this tower i'm curious to see like how are they going to affect you and your life because with this tower it kind of feels like they are going to shake things up a little bit for you but i feel like it's in a really powerful and beautiful way because even here behind the high priestess we have the four of pentacles so this is someone that is going to help you break free maybe you've been a little bit too strict you've been a little bit too rigid and with too many routines too many um i don't know solid boundaries something like that and this person is here to shake things up and it's going to i feel like they're going to inspire you to have more to be more to go f to be free and to go in the direction of life that you want to go you know no limitations no excuses no no fears essentially and I really feel like this is going to show up a little bit unexpectedly. So I really wouldn't be surprised if this is someone, um, if, the, if this is your spirit baby and they're saying, hey, I'm coming in, either you like it or not. <laughs> so yeah. And if this is also like a sibling-in-law or a parent-in-law, I feel like what's going to be surprising is not necessarily when they show up. I feel like it's the impact that they're going to have in your life. Like this is someone that is not going to be just, oh yeah, we're friends. No, this is like, even if it's like a sibling-in-law, a parent-in-law, you're going to be besties. If this is your spirit baby, you're going to be besties. Like this is someone that is really here to have, you're going to have a really solid, beautiful connection with this person. And they're, I feel like they're truly here to inspire you. But let's get a little bit more into that and look into um, how are they going to affect you? Why are they coming into your life? So, oh, we have family. <laughs> what the heck? This is so incredible. We have clarity. We also have candle magic and fling, short term casual crush and sex. There we go. There we go. Because I feel like this person is such a beautiful, powerful manifester. Um, I feel like they're really going to help you manifest the life of your dreams. And then with the fling, I really feel like they're here to. I'm also hearing boost your confidence, but they're here to break you free. They're, they're here to show you, hey, you can live life and you can be happy and you can have all those beautiful things that you want while you work and while you have all of these um, responsibilities and everything, right? Because especially if this is a kid, there is this feeling of, I need attention and I need you to play with me, right? <laughs> so it's like you're going to be forced to play. You're going to be forced to slow down, to stop, to breathe, to enjoy life. Um, I even feel like because this may be something so unexpected, it could be that it's like you kind of shift your priorities a little bit 
and you kind of look at life in a different way and now you just want to enjoy the little moments right because like especially if this is a baby like that first yawn that first smile is something so fleeting and it's so special in a in a baby right and it's like I feel like it's going to have that impact on you on let me appreciate the little things you may even um, change the impact on how you view life and in the world around you like now you pay a lot more attention to nature now you pay a lot more attention to that little bird and the way that those two little birds are talking to each other right and I, I feel like there's just a beautiful appreciation for life and I also feel like with this clarity in the tower I feel like this person um is coming in and I don't, it's nothing, I don't think that this is going to be something that they say or that they show you or that they help you with. I feel like it's just their energy is going to help you with that. And they could be a very lucky person in your life because I really feel like you're going to be manifesting really um, unexpectedly and easily just because you're in their presence. I don't know if it has ever happen, happened to you. Um, this has definitely happened to me where it's like whenever I would date someone that was really wealthy and had a good money mindset, money was like boom shabam if it was the other way around and i was connecting with or for example if i would spend a lot of time at home not really talking to a lot of people maybe just with my mom um money would be stagnant because unfortunately her money energy is not the best so now it's getting better so i love that but um it kind of you know the energy of other people affects your own energy and how you deal with things and I feel like it's going to be the same. It's just the fact that this person is so abundant in thought and in good positive energy is just going to help you manifest things in, like immediately. So I feel like that is going to be a fun and positive impact of this person in your life. But I also get this clarity or this feeling with this clarity of you're going to, is that thing of the priorities? You're going to be a lot clearer on what is important to you and how you want to spend your life. But I feel like especially... Maybe that's why I was also getting a little bit of career vibes. Maybe it's not necessarily that this is someone career related. I feel like they're going to help you understand what you want to do career related. So maybe like if this is a spirit baby, maybe they show up and it's like, holy shit, I want to be a stay at home mom, right? I want to be a stay at home dad. And it kind of just shifts your whole thing. And I feel like it's going to truly surprise you. Like this person is here to shake up her life. And in a really, really positive way. Excuse me, <laughs> I'm burping a lot. Um, especially with this eight of ones. Like when this person shows up, get ready. Your life is going to speed up so fast. It's going to be incredible. So how is this person going to affect Pawn's life? Okay. So we also have the hanged men here. Actually, let me take the hanged men and put you here. We have the nine of wands. See it this way, actually. The world, nine of wands, three of pentacles, king of pentacles. Yeah, and the, the, the hanged men. So again, I don't think this is necessarily a career partnership. It could at all. It could totally be, but with this family, I kind of feel like it's not. I feel like they're going to affect you career-wise and money-wise, especially money-wise. Because uh, with this world, I feel like something, when this shows up, I feel like this is like the energy that you're going to be in when this person shows up, when you have this baby, you know? Um, I feel like you're going to be in this place of like maybe a little bit of stagnation, maybe your finances are going to be a little low, um, maybe things are not, maybe you're feeling a little lost when it comes to your career and like, what do I really want to do? Why don't I feel fulfilled? Why don't I feel happy? It's like you having that, all of those questions, all of those thoughts. And I feel like you are, especially with the six of swords, uh, six of wands here, um, I feel like you're really going to be working really, really hard for your independence and for the things that you want. I feel like you're going to be empowering yourself because it's, it's like you're going through transformations. You're going through... How do I phrase this? It's like you're going, you're going through an upgrade, but it's like you're not realizing that something needs to shift, and this person is showing up here to help you shift that. I'm also getting for some of you, this may not be your spirit baby. It may be the the like the parent of your spirit baby. So the person that you're going to unite with, in case you're single, for example, um, the person that you're going to unite with to have your babies. Okay, 
so you could be the future parent of your kids your future spouse who knows but i just feel like this person is going to show up and it's going to be like hey you deserve the world why are you not having the world <laughs> right and it's not that you couldn't have that before it's not that you didn't want it i feel like you were just lost on which path to take you weren't really sure um of what to think of life or when to think of marriage and stability and commitment to your career what should i commit to so i feel like you're in this place of a little bit stagnant a little bit uh, stiff and this person is here and saying you can have it all so let's have it all right i feel like they're really going to lower your walls also i'm getting something around like you may be really um not necessarily that you don't open up and that you're not vulnerable but maybe that is not something that you do like every single day right you may prefer to deal with your emotions by yourself and I feel like this person is going to help you break free and it's going to help you open up and lower your walls a little bit. Uh, I almost, I'm also seeing this has this being your comfort zone. It's like you have all of these ones here, all of these sticks, and you're right there on the, the this side of the fence and looking into the world, looking into out there and your dreams. And it's like, ah, someday, someday, not today, but someday. And this person shows up and it's like, yeah, honey, today is that day, or someday is that is today, and I feel like they're really going to push you, maybe even to go to school, to study, to learn, at least to learn about yourself, and to put yourself out there. For some of you, this could be about communication, because we have here a lot of books, and the Nine of Pentacles also had a little bird, which was making you think of communication, so maybe this person could, again, help you open up, right, help you be clear on your needs and talk about your needs. But Three of Pentacles and King of Pentacles, I feel like they're going to help you step up in your finances and career. And I really feel like this is going to be lovely because I feel like it's going to change your whole life. After this person comes in, you'll never be the same. And it's the final little step for you to become fully the person you want to be, you know, for you to fully reach this place of freedom. And this is exactly the life that I want to have, right? So before we look into some timing, let's just pull some advice here, some final cards to see how can you attract this person faster. We have a new romantic cycle begins. Yeah, so this, for some of you, this could actually be your um, future spouse. This could be your the, the parent of your kids. And it could also be that this is truly your spirit baby. But for you to get there, you have to be open to a new beginning in love for you to meet the person that you're going to have that baby with. Uh, we also have your wishes are coming true. Aww. We also have self-worth. Why settle for crumbs when you deserve a whole meal? This is incredible. And we have patience. It is safe to aid. Um, so I really feel like whatever the case may be, I feel like for like 98% of you, this is either spirit baby or um, your future spouse, higher self coming through, telling you all these things, okay? But... Um, the key here is don't settle. You could be settling right now for a situation, maybe even in your career, where you don't feel respected, you don't feel seen, you, feel, you don't feel safe. I feel like it's especially about love uh, for a lot of you. And I feel like it is, the key here is going to be for you to be open to your true wish, to your true vision of your partner, right? Of your future spouse, of that long-term commitment, if you don't want to get married, you know, it's just that energy of don't settle for less than you deserve because your wishes are, are coming true. I really feel like this right here, this person, this baby, is it is a wish. And there is almost this feeling of you may have lost hope a little bit. You may have lost... You may have lost the motivation or even just the heart to believe in love. And the heart to believe that you can actually have this, you know? And maybe you do need patience. And maybe you have been patient with love and with people. And I almost get this feeling of like, you don't have to be patient, you know? Because sometimes maybe you're being patient for the wrong people. Maybe you're being patient for the people that cannot really give you what you deserve. And I feel like your guides are saying, respect yourself. Like, you don't have to be patient for someone that is not making the even the littlest effort to build something with you. You know, it's like, it is okay for you to say no. It is okay for you to walk away. It is okay for you to set up for yourself. Okay? So I feel like your key here to attract this person better um, 
whether it is your future spouse or baby, it is to truly be open to new beginnings. If you're already in a relationship, maybe this baby is actually pretty close and it's just this feeling of how do you feel about that? How do you feel about love? How do you feel about everything, about commitment, about having children, all of those things, right? Um, I just feel like you deserve so much, so please don't settle, okay? You deserve the whole cake. So let's get here some timing around when this person may be coming in. A lot of things, actually. I mean, how a lot of days. So we have, oh, interesting, 18, 19. We also have 30, divine timing. We always love to see that one. We have Libra, which is really close, actually. September, what the heck? <laughs> that is what this video is uploaded. For some of you, you may even already know this person. If this is, for example, if this is a future spouse, um, maybe you do, okay? Libra and Cancer signs could be significant. We have here Taurus, have Pisces. I feel like these are especially important, like Virgo, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? But then we also have Leo, Taurus, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, all right? But I'm even getting... Uh, <laughs> This is so sweet. You could be getting married in, in um, cancer season, or maybe you're getting married in September and you're conceiving this child during cancer season, something around those lines. But I definitely feel like this person is pretty freaking soon, okay? F uh, pretty freaking close, especially with this divine timing. It's almost like divine timing is boiling. So whether you already know this person or not, um, there's something around like whether Libra or cancer seasons are, are close, that is going to be... Um, a significant timeline for you to get into this energy and then we have the 18 19 and 30 of these months um and that's it in divine timing like trust because <laughs> i really feel like this is so close to you and if for example having a spirit baby it's not really in your plan straight away maybe this is like um i don't know this libra and cancer season it's you realizing something and starting to talk about babies it's you maybe getting like a fur baby that could also be it but yeah oh man i love this oh i'm happy for you okay part number one this is what i have for you i really hope it resonated and helped um i, I hope it, you're excited for this person right but let me know in the comments put me a little baby emoji if you're from pile number one and watch this until the end because i would love to hear from you and send a lot of good vibes towards your baby <laughs> um it could even be that you may call this person baby a lot maybe they're younger than you if they, they're like a future spouse or they call you baby. Oh, okay. So <laughs> don't forget to smash like button for me and to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. And if you're interested in diving deeper into any of this, we can get a prior reading. The link is going to be down below as well as for my Patreon, where we have weekly messages um, around twin flame, spiritual guidance, that kind of thing, and self-care. So if you're interested in any of that, check my uh, description box below. Okay, so I love you very much. I wish you the best and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hi there, my pile number two. Welcome into your reading. So, woo, we're losing our voices already. Uh, we have some opalite here for you if you chose that one. You're definitely in the right place or our wandering moon tarot. Um, and I do want to mention that as I'm starting this reading, I'm seeing five by five. So, big changes are coming into your life. Um, maybe this person is going to be a big change. Who knows? But in case you missed the intro, we are going to look into who this person is. You know, a little bit of personality and that kind of thing um trying to figure out as well like uh what type of relationship is it platonic romantic um career wise okay and then we're going to look into how they will affect you some advice for you to attract this person faster and some timing okay so let's get here one card for who this person is Ooh, the high priestess and what type of connection is this what is this person's purpose in your life Pile number two, please. Okay, this is a lot, but I actually feel like it's all of them. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, so we have Temperance over here. And we have Two of Cups, Ace of Swords, and Six of Wands. So this is interesting because I actually feel like it's two things. Um, when this High Priestess came through, the Emperor was at the bottom of the deck, and now we have the um, Temperance card and the Chariot, which can be seen as Twin Flame cards, because uh, Temperance is usually like a lady with two... Uh, 
like trying to balance some energies right and we have the chariot here with masculine and feminine energy so there is this beautiful like yin and yang kind of energy if you don't resonate with twin flames this could be very well your divine counterpart okay um and i definitely feel like especially with the two cups showing up i feel like this is definitely someone that could have um some impact romantically in your life okay but let's talk first about who this person is so we have the high priestess i feel like this is someone very mysterious they're highly intuitive they could actually be quite spiritual as well um i'm actually getting they could have really pretty eyebrows it's like they they take good care of themselves i feel like beauty is something really important for them so i'm picking up a little bit on uh this is pisces energy but i'm also picking up on libra uh energy here and i feel like there's just this beautiful this beautiful it, it's almost like they can bend the world i don't know if that makes sense they could be an amazing manifester but there is this feeling like of like they bend into the world and they bend the world into their favor um not in a sense of like manipulation or anything but it's like they're one with the world and so they know how to go with the flow they know how to embrace their emotions they know how to go with life and i feel like they're also someone that really likes to take initiative they're they're someone that really likes to maybe actually have things a little bit in their own control in a sense of i like things in this certain way so that's how it's going to go but there is this feeling of I don't know just someone that knows what they want but also knows that there's a divine timing to everything and they're patient they're really patient i really feel like they are um they're also really mature they could actually be older than you um or at least again there's just this maturity coming from them that is like i've lived a lot and maybe literally like a lot of past lives but i've lived a lot i've experienced a lot and again i know exactly what i want i'm not going to give up until i get it and i also know divine timing is something so i'm not going to force anything either i also feel like they could have been pretty let down in the past as well so there is this feeling of um not not necessarily extreme independence extreme independence in the sense of i'm okay with myself i'm good by myself so i don't really need a partner i want a partner which is different right um so i feel like there's a little bit of that energy but let's get into the interesting part of things is that we have the two cups so i definitely feel like this could be at the very least a friend okay at the very least a friendship here but i definitely can see this being uh, a romantic relationship and with this ace of swords and the especially the six of ones i feel like this could be a romantic relationship but it could have some impact in your career so this could be someone that brings in it's like you start a business with them later on um i don't know it's like maybe they help you and they motivate you a lot in your endeavors material career endeavors with this ace of swords i also feel like this is someone that is going to help you speak your truth and it's almost like they're going to i'm hearing show you your value so if this is like you then eventually have um or this person has some sort of career influence in you i feel like it's going to be an influence of hey you should raise your prices like you're working so hard and you're not getting enough you should ask for that promotion you should look for something better it's like they really push you to be the best version of yourself they really push you to grow and to mature into a little bit like they are like bend life bend life to what you want it to be take initiative you know i feel like this is someone that is really like come on let's go whatever you need i'm here but you're the one that has to do it like i'm going to be here to catch you if you fall i'm going to be here to push you a little bit up that mountain but you have to be the one to take the steps i cannot just be pushing you like i cannot be pushing dead weight no i have to be pushing to help and not to force something um so i feel like this is someone that is going to empower you a lot and that is beautiful i really love this energy because i feel like this is someone so stable in themselves and so they are just going to help you become your best version and that is all they want truly and they just it, like i feel like they appreciate the same back oh holy shit look at that we have love yeah um yeah so this is definitely like a love partnership that you're getting here oh and we even have blessings dude this is so cute i really feel like again i feel like this person is going to have such a big impact in your life in the most positive way because i feel like they are a blessing when it comes to love um and i feel like they have been really patient when it comes to finding their love finding their divine counterpart um i'm 
even getting this person could be single for a very long time maybe they're actually like winning until marriage that kind of thing because i feel like they're so clear on what they want it's like i'm not gonna settle i'm not gonna just say yes and and have fun and then this person walks out of my life no they may have said that at some point um but it's like their current energy is in this very sure place and there we go with like the bending life and bending with life it's like they are a blessing but they also create blessings in their world and i feel like they're going to create so many blessings for you i feel like they're really going to bring you so much joy so much fulfillment so much happiness and adventure i'm also getting that um and i feel like this is someone that gives their all we even have and i'm even getting a little bit emotional like i want to cry because maybe this is exactly what you've been looking for and maybe you too have also been patient and maybe quite hurt and now you have someone here that treats you absolutely right that is a complete blessing in itself that can truly appreciate you and give you everything that you're looking for and i feel like like with this girl right here with the little light in her hands it's like there you go like i'm not even going to question anything i know you're my divine counterpart there we go my heart is yours right this this person could actually fall in love pretty quickly <laughs> just saying but because uh, i feel like it's like when they know they know and they're gonna know and i feel like you're gonna know um oh this is lovely oh okay so we also have freedom yeah let's see here we have sound healing beautiful and gifts oh surprise presents offer dude i'm telling you this person i feel like they're really romantic they wouldn't be a water sign if they weren't um but they they really have this really sweet romantic energy to them and i feel like they're going to surprise you and pimper you so much i feel like they're going to treat you exactly like you deserve to be treated and exactly like people couldn't treat you before they didn't know how to but this person knows and i feel like it's going to be to feel pretty freaking good because again i get for some of you you've been so freaking patient and you've been with so many maybe toxic relationships or just people that didn't even want a commitment that kind of thing and it's it's almost like this person is coming in with um like it's safe now that's kind of what i'm getting it's like it's safe now we can build something we, we this is what we've been waiting for this is the right person for us to build something long lasting and stable um and i really feel like this is their whole intention especially with the ace of, of pentacles here it's like we have the ace of swords we have the ace of pentacles and it's not that like the love is there it's almost like they don't even have to build the love because the love is already there from the get-go so again you could you two could fall in love pretty fast with each other um there could be this immediate bond with each other maybe you've already met this person is like your confirmation who knows but um with the ace of swords you're going to be pretty authentic from the get-go and again it's not that there is not the offer of the ace of cups but it's almost like that offer was made way before we incarnated on this earth it was already done so that is not even something that i have to offer what i do have to offer is my commitment to you it's my loyalty is my promise of something good and long term and it's so interesting how let me see if you can see it um it's almost like here this thing almost looks like a, a ring in the box right so i really feel like this could be the person that you end up marrying um but it's like what they're offering is truth honest uh, honesty authenticity loyalty stability something long term they're not here to play around uh i mean the ace of cups and the ace of ones could also show up has we put more tarot but i don't really get a vibe it's not it's not something it could be passionate but it's not something fleeting or casual it's true it's honest it's true love okay and i feel like especially with sound healing and freedom this person could really even like help you break free of a situation whether it is career-wise or like cutting someone out of your life queen of swords moving from moving on from someone moving on from your past so i feel like this person is going to bring a lot of healing yeah all right so let's pull some tarot here to see how this person is going to affect your life i mean i feel like we already have been talking about that but we have the ten of wands okay bottom of the deck we have that temperance beautiful oh pretty ah and we have the fool oh my goodness i'm hearing i'm a fool for you 
and you're going to be a fool for me. <laughs> I love this. So we have the Ten of Wands, the uh, Moon, the Fool, the Judgment card, and Four of Pentacles. This is really, really just, ah, oh, this is so awesome. Um, so essentially, and it's so beautiful how we had the Queen of Swords and now we have the King of Swords. So perfect match, right? We have over here, Ten of Pentacles, King of Stars. So very king energy. This person is going to be your king in the sense of they're going to really empower you to step into your feminine. Because I feel like it doesn't matter your gender. I feel like you're feminine. Maybe you've always had to be in your masculine a lot. That is what I want to say. You may have always had to stand up for yourself or be very protective of your heart. You're feminine. Maybe you didn't even do that, but you were focusing on being the feminine like you were focused on putting your heart out there, just being yourself, being love to other people, you know, and bringing love to other people. And then you wouldn't receive it back and people wouldn't treat you correctly. They wouldn't understand your feminine energy. They wouldn't empower your feminine energy. And this person is coming in like, you don't have, you don't have to be this, this king of pentacles anymore. I can be that for you. I can help you step into the queen of pentacles. Um, I don't even know. Um, I don't remember exactly the post, but there is this feeling of like, I see this post quite often, which is something around the lines of like, uh, Miss Independence says she doesn't need a man, but then uh, like what she really wants or what she really needs is someone that just, you know, brings them flowers and treats them correctly. There's a little bit of that feeling. It's like you may have always had to be like your man, right? You may have always had to be even if you were male, it's like you always had to be very strict and, and very like taking care of myself. And maybe you never really were taken care of. And I feel like this person is here to take care of you and to just love you. That is that is their whole intention is to just love you. And I really feel like there is the strong energy of um, putting back, uh, putting down the burdens and all of the fears and insecurities um, that you may have gained from the past. I feel like this person impact in your life is going to help you break free in your life in general. Again, maybe to stand up for yourself when it comes to having more, to asking for more career-wise, right? And to not hold back so much because there is this feeling of like you always wanted to reach for the stars, but you couldn't open that hand to actually grab it. It's like maybe you were always afraid that the star would run away. And I feel like this person comes in and it's like, let me open that hand up for you, right? Let me show you how. Let me help you out. Gosh, this person is a sweet. Oh, they're so sweet. They're so kind. Um, and I really feel like the, their biggest impact in your life, you're going to feel so much freedom. You're going to feel so much happiness um, and joy and fulfillment. Because it's not that this person brings those things to you. They help you create those things in your life. They truly bend life. They truly, like, they create whatever they want. They may not even be aware of that, but they, it's like, oh, I'm just lucky. But in fact, they're not. It's its like they created with their energy. I feel like they've been taking good care of their energy. And now they're so ready to, um, it's like they can create anything they want. Right? So in terms of zodiac signs, by the way, in case that isn't boring to you, we have the high priestess, which is Pisces. Uh, we have Cancer, Aries. We also have here a little bit of Earth. Especially Taurus, we have that Sag, Aquarius, okay? But we have expect powerful change in regards to we'll pull some timing. We're just going to see how you can attract this person faster into your life. So expect powerful change. I love me. Oh, yeah. We also have change. A resistance to change is a resistance to life itself. Open your heart and mind to new beginnings. And then we have body. Your body deserves your love. So this is so interesting because you have to do absolutely nothing. <laughs> that is so beautiful. Um, this person is already here, but you, whether you want it or not, <laughs> they could still be in the spiritual realm, okay? You could still just be connected in the 5D, but I feel like they could be pretty close because like new moon eclipse, that is powerful, fast energy. And this reading even started with five, so big change um, happening in your life. I just saw 22, right now 11 on the clock, so uh, you're really open to new beginnings or new beginnings want to come into your life. Your key here be open to beginnings. Be open to changing. Uh, there's even this feeling of you may think that something is meant for you, that 
something is in your path but deep down you know that may maybe it's not or that maybe you should open yourself up to possibilities whether that is relationship or career-wise life like lifestyle the place you live in whatever the case may be be open to question your life be open to put yourself in such a high regard that it's like i'm going to do whatever i can whatever i have in my power to live my best life to love myself unconditionally and to treat myself like i would treat uh like a partner like I, w- I would do anything for a partner let me do everything for myself anything that i can let me be that person for myself and that is your biggest advice right now but more than anything it's again you don't have to do anything specific when it comes to life itself and to this connection or anything um it's just about loving you and staying open to change because that is what's going to bring in this person wow this is beautiful so let's put some timing here for you okay so we have 26 14 i'm actually getting uh 14 has a time uh, we have near future. Yeah, I feel like they're pretty close. Have the fourth, the tenth, a lot of um, numbers. In a couple of years, in a couple of days. Oh, damn. And we have April. So April could be significant here. Maybe an April Taurus. Doesn't have to be. But in the near future, in a couple of days, just say it. In uh, in a couple of years, maybe it's like you're finally understanding. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you're actually the one that I'm going to get married to. That kind of thing. Um, in a couple of years, something big could be changing here. Or, oh, so we were talking about how this person could also have an impact in terms of career. It could be that in a couple of years, maybe four years after you meet this person and start dating, um, you could open that business. You could start that business together. Okay. From two to four years. That could be something. All right. But in a couple of days, just say it. Okay. Especially uh, four, 10, 14 26, if those days are coming for this month, like whenever you're watching this video, maybe right now it's the, like all of these days are pretty far away, right? So you have multiple times to, to, to have opportunities here. So it's like you're watching this on the 31st or the 30th of a month. Um, well, the 4th of the next month could be significant, right? Damn, this is powerful. This is powerful, dude. I love this. So, my pawn number two, this is what I have for you. I really hope it resonated and helped. And I hope you're excited because this is someone so beautiful. And apparently, they're really close. Um, so, just love yourself. That's all you have to do. Just love yourself. And, again, if you need to let go of someone, please do. Of a situation, please do. Um, but I feel like this person is also going to help you out with that. Okay? But with that being said, don't forget to smash like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a little um like you, you know those little stars or just a star leave me a little star emoji um in the comments to let me know that you were watching pound number two and that you watched it till the end and that you're excited about this and don't forget to check my description box for prior readings and for my patreon where we have weekly messages around twin flames divine counterparts spiritual guidance in general and self-care and that is it so i love you very much i wish you the best and i'll see you in the next one bye bye Hi there, my pound number three. Welcome in to your reading. So if you chose the Angelide in the third eye tarot, you are definitely in the right place. So in case you missed the intro, this is how it's going to go. We are going to look into who is the person that is coming in. We're also going to look into, you know, is it platonic, romantic, career-wise, any other type of relationship. We'll take a look into it and then we'll see how this person will affect your life um and some advice for you to attract them a little bit faster and some timing all right so if that feels good if you like the sound of that let's get here into your tarot Ooh, okay and let's get a card for who is this person okay page of pentacles and what is the type of relationship here that is interesting. That is actually very interesting. We have the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Okay. So I kind of feel like this is someone, they could be younger than you actually. Um, I feel like they are someone very committed to possibly their career. I feel like this is someone that is very always eager, eager to learn. They are very inquisitive and they really, they're really curious, I would say. And they really like to learn about a lot of things. Like they're, they could always be reading books 
and just studying a lot. I feel like uh, I'm kind of getting this energy of like, they don't really have a life. <laughs> um, but I kind of feel like they're someone that knows all about hard work and they also know their worth in how to I'm also getting like something around like good work habits it's like they know exactly what to do how to do it how to make it happen um and maybe that is something that they could teach you a little bit and with this knight of cups and the knight of wands coming up I feel like this is someone that is actually going to allow you to follow your heart not necessarily that this is like a romantic relationship or something it could definitely be like knight of cups knight of wands this could definitely turn into like uh lovers I would say this could possibly be more if it is that type or if it leads there it could be more of something casual not necessarily something serious but i see this more has like someone allowing you to follow your heart so this could be a, um, a career relationship actually and it's like it's someone that comes in with hey i'm gonna help you out to make your dreams happen i'm gonna give you an opportunity for you to follow your dreams um with this page of pentacles especially page of pentacles it's usually like offering something so they could be offering some sort of um opportunity which i kind of feel like to be honest this is giving me a little bit of a vibe of king of pentacles but they show that they are a, a, a page right because it's almost like they could even they could be a lot better than they seem at their work they could also be really young so it's like you may think that they're inexperienced or something but they're actually really good at what they do and uh it could also be this could be like not necessarily in the sense of a person but a business a company and it's like it could be a really fresh business really recent so it's like oh they don't have a lot of clients uh they don't have a lot i'm even getting like something around like manager or something um and it's like they don't have a lot of representation they don't have a lot of clients they don't have a lot of things going on but i kind of have a good vibe about this you know and in fact it's like they're really good at what they do i really feel that and especially with this seven of pentacles i really feel like they can help you grow something really nice okay uh, especially around career I to be honest if you choose to take this to a more of a romantic place I don't see that being more than anything casual okay just a little heads up uh, but I might be wrong we'll get some more confirmation when we pull the tarot not the tarot the oracles here but well and the tarot but yeah I also feel like this is someone that they could be really grounded And like um, very mature. I feel like they have a really good connection with money. Maybe that's kind of what is, especially if this is like someone career related, it's definitely going to uh, offer you something money wise. But I feel like it's also their own energy towards money could affect you and could help you out to create a better relationship with money. This could also be like a student, but it's going to have a lot of impact on you. And it's like, with that thing of like they show up as a page of pentacles but in fact they are a king is like they may show up as a student but in fact they already know a lot about it where it could even be that this is a gift you know and it's like they did this for past lives and past lives so those gifts are already there and their soul recognizes like hey this is our thing and by going to your class by learning with you it just unlocks everything and they very quickly become a king of pentacles um, so there could also be something around those lines. We have uh, Earth energy here. Okay, Pisces, Virgo, Capricorn. Pi well, maybe a Pisces, I guess, but a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And we also have here Scorpio and Sag coming through, okay? But it doesn't have to be, though. Just a little extra confirmation. But let's see here. Okay, so we have Heart Healing. We also have here Good Luck. That's nice. We have Cook nature there we go with the grounding and flirt what did i tell you attraction alluring player so again i really feel like this is someone that is going to it could even be that it doesn't necessarily have to be career related but if i, I really I, i'm really getting like something strong here around i feel like it's both things to be honest um if you pursue something with this person know that i feel like like knight of wands flirt this is very like fleeting energy, something casual. I really don't see anything solid coming from this romantic wise. Um, but I really feel like this person could help you heal your heart, especially when it comes to following your dreams, because especially with this good luck, like this is how they will affect your life, right? This is how, what they're here for, why they're coming into your life. And I feel like it is to bring good luck, especially around career, because with this cook, it's like you could be cooking something inside that you want to let out maybe you're wanting to 
uh, create something new. Maybe you're wanting to launch something. Maybe you're just like creating something and need help from an external party. And I feel like this is the external party, right? Um, if this is like the case of a um, company, it could be that you go with this company for like just a project for like six months and then you don't really talk to them again or something around those lines. But I just feel like this person or company, they're really going to ground you. And it's like they're going to create, they're going to help you achieve your dreams. They're going to help get your dreams into reality. And even here, I just noticed this now. It's beautiful. So even here, we have, I don't know if you can see that too. But this is like a pot of gold. So I really feel like this is who is coming in. Um, it's a career opportunity okay possibly a specific person but this is going to lead to a lot of money okay this is going to lead to a lot of wealth and abundance and good luck with the ladybirds um and with a black cat with a crown is like you could be a little bit maybe there's even this feeling of people may have rejected you a lot and it's like you've been trying to go for interviews and no one would ever no one would really take you or something and this person or company they are looking at you and it's like Oh, they're black sheep. We love it. Let's go. <laughs> you know, it's like they do. They do love your potential, but it's like they, they, you're different. There's something around that, around that. It's like you bring something different to the table and they love it. And that's why they want to work with you. And I feel like, again, with this heart healing, you could definitely be also related with the, po the potential for you to have something romantic here. But I feel like it's more around you healing your heart to allow yourself to dream. To allow yourself to understand that your dreams are worthy of pursuing. You know, and you can build something beautiful with them. And it's worth believing in them, you know? So, let's see here. How will this person, yeah, affect your life? So, we have the justice card over here. We have the, wow, we have the eight of pentacles. Nine of Cups, the Chariot, and the Magician, and that justice. So we also have here Cancer, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra energies. Okay. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> this is awesome, dude. This is really awesome. Uh, I really feel like I keep wanting to mention something love-wise because I feel like love-wise, this is a karmic cycle. Okay. So if you're used to dealing with players and that kind of thing, know that this person, they may just be looking for that, okay? Um, if that opportunity shows up, just figure out what you want about that, about love, and if this person matches that, right? But I feel, so I feel like in that sense, this person can help you heal that karmic cycle of players and that kind of thing. Um, but I also feel like there is something here. We were talking about how this page of pentacles could have like a gift that was just now being recognized and it was from past lives that justice is definitely talking about that and it could also be about you it's like maybe this is someone i'm even getting a little bit um atlas baker i don't know atlas from um the atlas six uh the book Oli olivia something i don't know but the atlas six <laughs> and in the book like atlas is this this dude full of mystery that protects like a library and thing um and it's like atlas sees the potential in the 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 students the the magicians let's call them that he goes to to invite to that library and so i feel like it's a little bit like that it's like this person could show up has just like oh it's just a page and we're just trying to figure out if you fit and that kind of thing when in fact they already know that you're going to be a king of pentacles and they see all of that potential and they want to give you that so how will this person affect your life they're going to bring in a lot of work i must tell you <laughs> a lot of work is coming in but it's good work because it's work that fulfills you it's work that is truly aligned with you and it, it is work that in the end is aligned with your soul and i feel like this is even an opportunity that you have been manifesting and not only that but with the chariot Chariot is very about like victory and conquest and confidence more than anything. So I feel like this person coming in is going to boost your confidence to believe in yourself, right? To believe that your dreams can become a reality. Maybe it's a thing. You want to create something. You want to launch something. You want to show the world, hey, this is me and this is what I can create. But maybe you've always had that question or that those doubts, those fears that maybe this can't really happen. Maybe this is not really for me. Maybe this, maybe I should just like forget about this dream of mine. 
and do my own thing. I just saw 5656, so look into that angel number for more messages. But I feel like in the end, you're going to feel so confident. You're going to feel so confident about um, yourself that now all of these gifts are kind of opening up. You see your potential. And by you seeing your potential and feeling confident about that, you're going to be able to manifest a lot more opportunities, a lot of money, a lot of just like a flow of, I'm getting like a flow of income and a flow of abundance. Seriously. So wowza. This is really great. I really love this. So let's get here a little bit of advice before we're looking to do some timing for you to see how you can attract this opportunity faster. Okay. We have hold your vision. Beautiful. We also have ask for help. Wake up and go now. We also have authenticity. So interesting. Live life for you, not the audience in your head. And we have mind. You are the master of your inner world and you decide how the outer world affects you. Cultivate a calm inner state. So it's interesting how I was saying like you may have been already rejected a lot or maybe that is a fear that you have and that is something that um, this mind card is saying like cultivate a calm cultivate a calm inner state and try to already see your potential a little bit. You know, try to already see how you can find more peace and, and hold this vision. It's almost like focus on the vision, not on the present situation. Of course, you need to like enjoy the journey and all that, but focus on the vision, focus on what you want to accomplish in the future, right? Believe in yourself and believe that you can really have a lot. And with this ask for help, don't be afraid to look for different opinions. Like, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? Um, even people that you may not necessarily recur to. So let's say you want to Let's say you want to be a singer. For some reason, I'm actually getting a little bit of art energy here. Um, let's say you want to be a singer. Maybe send like a demo or just like a little audio to your favorite art artist. Most likely they will never hear it, but they could hear it. And it's almost like, I feel like that favorite artist, you may even love it, not be just because of the song, of, of the music that they make, but maybe because of their personality too. And what do you know from them? And I feel like they're really, truly going to support you right? And I also get this feeling with the ask for help. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to be rejected. Don't be afraid to hear a lot of no's because all you, all you, all it takes is a yes, right? So with this wake up and go now, it's like, don't wait for the perfect timing. Don't wait for someone to find you. Make them find you. Make them find you. It's not about like waiting and hoping that the universe will have your back. The universe will have your back, but you have to open the door first, Okay, so I feel like your biggest advice here is think of the destiny, think of where you want to go, think of the potential, think of the things that can happen if this goes right. And put yourself out there, step out of your comfort zone and share your work with other artists, with other people that can help you out with uh, like other business owners, share that idea, that kind of thing. Maybe family members that are already like in the field and that are wealthy and that kind of thing. Put yourself out there. And with this authenticity, we were talking with that black cat. Like this person, this company, they're going to love you because you're different. They're going to love you because you have a voice, because you're authentic. So with this, audi uh, with this authenticity, live life for you, not the audience in your head. You don't have to be someone that you're not. You don't have to change your work. You don't have to change your wardrobe, the way you look, your voice, anything around those lines. You just have to be yourself. The right person, the right company is going to find you. Okay. Wow. This is amazing. I really feel like this is an opportunity of a lifetime and it's going to change. Like, it's almost like it may start really small and it changes like your whole life. This is, wow, this is a lot, but I'm going to take the two that flipped. We have 23rd and today. So <laughs> that is fast. Uh, and I feel like this today, it's almost like that wake up and go now. It's like, what are you waiting for? Share your work. You may even feel like your work still needs a lot more improving and a lot more, I don't know, you still need to fix this and fix that. I don't think so. I feel like it's already perfect and you should share it, okay? Because then these people in this company is going to help you to perfect it, okay? So we have the third as well. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Today. Now, we also have December and we have June, okay? So maybe these are even 
a significant month in terms of someone's birthday or something. But 3rd, 23rd, December, June, those could be significant timelines for when this opportunity does show up. But we have today and now. So I feel like this is more of like an action timing and not so much of an opportunity showing up timing. So again, dude, put your work out there. Even if it's not finished, just ask for opinions. Just, dude, sign up for that interview. Sign, sign up for that casting. Whatever. Do it. Put yourself out there. Today, okay? Not yesterday, not, oh, when this happens. No, today, right now, okay? Click off this video. Before you do that, <laughs> smash that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe. But click off this video, open a new tab and send that freaking thing to your favorite artists, to these companies, whatever. Just do it, okay? So I hope this helped and I hope it resonated and brought you a little hope and excitement. But if it did, don't forget to smash that button for me and subscribe if haven't already. Leave me a little um that little magic one emoji in the comments okay so i know that you were here this is your pal you were watching it until the end um and yeah that's it oh if you want to dive deeper into any of this you can check out my um description box below for my prior readings you can also check out my patreon for weekly messages around spiritual guidance twin flame journey uh in self-care okay so with that being said i love you very much i wish you the best and i'll see you in the next one Hi there, my partner before, welcome into your reading. So if you chose the Unikide, you are definitely in the right place. And um, you may have also chosen the Light Seas Tarot. But let's get into it. I feel like talking very, uh, <laughs> I don't know, not necessarily childlike, but very like sweet and, and gentle. So maybe that is the type of person that you're, uh, that is coming in. But we'll take a look at exactly that. So in case you missed the intro, we are going to take an initial card for who is coming in. Um, and we'll also figure out what type of relationship is this, platonic, romantic, career-wise, whatever. And we'll see how this person will affect your life, uh, why are they coming in. We'll also pull some advice for you to attract this person a little faster and also some timing for when they may be coming in, okay? So, with that being said, let's just give this a good old shuffle. All right. Uh, and it's interesting because in the intro, I also call this like, like we have our good old Lights Your Zero deck. And now I just had like a good old shuffle. So maybe this person is older than you. Doesn't have to be, but that was interesting. So who is this person? We have the Ten of Wands, which does give me a little bit of like, they could be older than you. It's like they have a lot of knowledge. They have a lot of um, insight, things to teach you. Maybe this is a teacher, uh, but let's figure that out. What is the, t the type of connection? Okay, so we have the tower here, and it kind of wants to come out in the reverse. And then we have the two cups, which, to be honest, I'm seeing this has not romantic. <laughs> so I feel like you will have some sort of really beautiful, deep bond with this person. But I see this more have like you've been powering each other. Maybe this is like a bestie. That's kind of what I'm getting, because it, it's like. Um, I'm getting something around like you're too different, but you bond so well. So I really get that this is someone that is here to um, help you. I'm even getting this person may come in at a time when your life is a little bit upside down. And so this person can try and stabilize things a little bit, bring a little bit of calmness, bring a little bit of stability into your life, into a situation. Um, I'm also getting something around like trying to fix something. So again, it could be like a teacher or guide, a helper, they are a helper. Uh, and I definitely feel like with this 10 of Wands, this is someone that has been through a lot. Uh, maybe they're even on the move and that is how you meet, is when this person is on the move, maybe you are also on the move um, and you just end up meeting and it's faded because I feel like you needed to meet each other. Not only they are going to teach you something and they are going to help you out with something, I feel like you too, but I don't think you're going to understand it because I feel like maybe this Two of Cups is you. You know, um, and you may actually like, we were talking about how you may be, it's like you're too different, but you, you bond really well. And I actually feel like you're more similar than you think. Because with this two of cups is like, um, of course we have like two people of different color skins, right? So there's this feeling of like, yes, you were different, but it's almost like you're different on the outside, right? It's like this person is 180 years old and you're... 
20. <laughs> and um, it's like you're from two different worlds, maybe even two different cultures. The age gap is huge, but you're the same. And I feel like it's like maybe this person sees a lot of them in you. I'm really getting this. Has like, I, I don't know exactly how you're going to meet, but I see this has like your grandpa your grandma right i see this really has someone so wise and i really see them with a big uh age gap from you a lot older and they're going to have such a big beautiful impact it could be that you're moving and this is like the house owner and you end up like connecting so well um but i really feel like this person sees a lot of themselves in you and that's why they're going to connect so much with you and want to help you so much it's because like hey these were my struggles and these were the things that I've been through. So this is how I want to help you. Okay, they could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be. But we have Aries over here with the Emperor as well. Uh, we also have Scorpio, Cancer coming through. Okay, but especially fire signs, I would say. Um, especially Aries, perhaps. But Sag and Leo, okay, can also be. It could be any sign, really. But I feel like this is someone really sweet. I feel like they... They could be kind of cold in the sense of they speak very assertively, but I feel like they have a heart of gold. There's something around those lines. And I feel like this person is here to protect you because we have all of these cushions, right? I feel like I, I really feel like this person is a savior. Like the, their purpose in this lifetime could be to help out a lot of people. So that's why I kind of feel like it could be a teacher, maybe a teacher in the sense of a guide of someone that is uh, teaching how to better love yourself, maybe even a therapist. It could also be that. Uh, I'm even getting, <laughs> this is weird, but this could be a book. This whole thing could be a book that you need to read and it's going to have a lot of impact on you because I feel like the type of connection is, it's almost like it's beyond this world. I really don't see this being romantic. I see this like being a true friend. Um but this may even be like um a parent-in-law or it's like if you don't know this is oddly specific but if you don't know your parents or even your grandparents or something you could be meeting them and in, in this person right um but i feel like this person is going to have a lot of impact on your spiritual journey and who you're becoming holy shit look at that we have friendship yeah wow <laughs> what the heck like i i drew these cards in the morning and i already went to the gym i had lunch i had three pals to look over and so i don't remember these cards at all and now we have friendship this is crazy um wow so again this is really a friend that is coming in to help you i feel uh let's actually pull the rest of the cards we have nurture oh how beautiful we have road opener energy work there we go it's like it has a really strong powerful energy or shift in your energy here it's a spiritual it's a spiritual person where at least their purpose is spiritual but i really feel like this could be a friend and with this energy work and road opener it's like they're going to teach you how to better heal yourself how to better deal with your emotions how to better nurture yourself uh so th that's kind of why i'm getting that this could also be a book or it's like this person suggests a book for you to read um, it could be like a self-development nonfiction book. Um, <laughs> if, if there are any bookworms over there uh, of like romance and stuff, it's like nonfiction. What is that? <laughs> uh, I relate. But um, I feel like this is someone that is going to also empower you to get into this emperor, right? I almost see this has... Um, I almost see this has like... Again, this person sees a lot of themselves in you, right? So there's this feeling of maybe you want to pursue something that they actually wanted to pursue, right? It's like you're so different, so such different cultures, such a different age gap. Um, and yet, they had the same aspirations. Maybe they never really could make it. Or maybe they did make it. And it's like, I'm going to make the path a little easier for you by helping you out, right? and they just want you to become that emperor they just want you to reach your fullest potential so i feel like that is their biggest purpose here why they're showing up is to really help you become the person you want to be and i feel like it's that thing i don't think this person is just here to oh let me give you a push and then 
you will never talk to each other again. No, this is like a true, true, true friend. I see you being with this person, you know, in their life, years, years to come, okay? And I really feel like they're op- going to open doors to you. And especially with the energy work, there we go. It could be like some sort of therapist, some sort of um, healer, teacher, that kind of things. Like they are going to help you remove blocks and open new doors. And I feel like you're going to feel really confident with this friend. It's like you can share whatever you want with them. They're always going to support you. I just saw the three of cups, so confirmation. This is truly a friend that is here to stay. Um, I feel like they're also going to be really kind with you. And just like give you any type of reassurance that you may need. Like, hey, you're doing great. No, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. This is the type of friend that you can just open up about anything. And they're, they're just going to be like... Yeah, like, go, dude. I, I have you back. Okay, so apparently the video stopped recording. <laughs> but let's get here into um, some tarot to see how this person will affect your life. So we have the two of pentacles. Yeah, there we go. It's like they, came, they may come forward when you're, uh, like, lacking some sort of stability. And they're really going to help you gain it back. Uh, King of Cups. How will this person affect your life? We have the three ones. This is beautiful. All right. And then we also have here the hermit. Oh, man. We have the king of swords. Okay. So we have over here Virgo, Aquarius, Cancer energies. Okay. Um, but one thing that I was hearing with this king of cups and the three of wands you're not going to feel so alone that was what i heard immediately it's like you're going to feel like you found your tribe you found people that you can really connect you found someone that respects you and treats you so well and it's like again it's a true friendship um maybe you're used to, to having friends that don't really support you don't really have your back don't really like or just don't care, right? And this is not going to be that person. This is someone that, again, they could sometimes appear a little bit, I feel like they're really assertive with their words. So sometimes they could appear a little bit harsh and a little bit like, what are you waiting for? Like, come on, let's go, <laughs> you know? Um, and a little, not necessarily pushy, but just imp old and impatient. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of that. Old and impatient. But um, at the same time, again, they have... And, and they are going to have so much love. I feel like they already have love for you, actually. Because I feel like they're someone that just loves the world. And just loves people. Especially kind people. And so they're going to love you from the get-go. They're going to love you from the very first moment. That they see you and that they say your... You, you say your first hi to each other. It's like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to adopt you. <laughs> you know? Um, but again, two of pentacles. I feel like this person could bring a lot of stability when it comes to your emotions they're essentially they're going to make you feel safe okay they're truly going to make you feel safe and respected and seen um and i feel like there's also this feeling especially with the hermit here as well they're going to also help you listen more to your intuition and and give you that reassurance that sometimes we need like you're not crazy this this could be someone quite spiritual um but it's like you're not crazy whatever whatever you're feeling whatever you're going through it's safe and it's okay and it's so normal for you to go through that, right? Um, and I feel like they they could also share a lot of stories with you because, again, they see a lot of themselves in you. So it's like, oh, when I was this age, like I remember I was also dealing with that, right? Um, and I feel like they're just going to have so much insight and so much knowledge and that is how they're going to transform you the most. This could even, I even feel like for most, for um, some of you, this could even start as like... Um, a business like a career relationship where it's like they hire you and or or the company hires you and they're about to retire and you go under their wing right and it's like it's supposed to be just a career relationship right strictly professional but then it's like you fall in love with each other in the most platonic way possible with this friendship it's like you truly become besties uh and like if you're feeling down this is the type of person to be like, oh, hey, like, you, you're feeling down today. Are you okay? Um, and you just, like, I even see, like, going to this person's house to have dinner and have some pretty fun times. And even if this person is not older than you, um, I just feel like they have such an old uh, soul. They're really mature for their age. 
really. So it's like they could be 20 and they have the the heart and the mind of like a 60 year old. Uh, they're really, really wise, really, really wise. And so I feel like they're going to bring so much insight into you. And definitely, I feel like the biggest thing, they're going to help you follow your intuition and help you listening, listen to your soul and to what you truly desire and not be afraid to go get it. Um, also, I feel like they're going to help you ask for what you want and like not settle for anything less than that. I also feel like they could encourage you to move because we have like three of wands, we have a little boat there, we even have the eight of cups here. So there is a two of wands. So there is a big energy here of like they could push you into moving in a certain direction towards a certain place, something around those lines. Okay, so let's get you here some advice before you look into timing to see how you can attract this person a little bit faster. We have confidence. Oh, confidence is your key to success. We have hang in tight, change is coming, embrace it, and look at your options. Surprise! Release your expectations and be open to surprise. And invitation. The words you speak are an invitation to life, a request to bring energy into form. Choose your words carefully. Um, so <laughs> it's so interesting because, again, for some of you, this could just be a book, <laughs> which is really weird to be showing up in a reading like these. But it could just be a book. And there is this feeling of like, be open to finding a random book. Be open to someone recommending a book to you that is going to change your life. All right. But I feel like the biggest thing here is maybe there's something about like step out of your comfort zone and be open to talk to strangers. Because maybe that is something that you could struggle a little bit with. It's like you, you could always be in this uh, hermit energy. Uh, for some pals, I actually looked at these bottom bottom of the deck energy has like the energy that you're currently in and how this is going to affect you and change this energy so you could be a lot in your own bubble a lot in just doing your thing not really caring about the external world and all the things so maybe a piece of advice here for you to attract this person faster would be get out of your comfort zone talk to people talk to people on the bus talk to people in the supermarket like small talk just say hey that is enough and it's like, be open to surprise. Be open to letting other people in as well. Maybe you're kind of scared of getting hurt. Again, maybe you've been, your friendships weren't that great or even love relationships weren't that great. And maybe there's this expectation of, oh, I'm not going to open up to anyone because it could lead to a romantic relationship and I don't want to get hurt again. This is not it. This is not it. So it's like, just be open. Just be open to welcome people into your life. Good, beautiful people. Okay, and especially with this invitation is like, how are you viewing the world outside of you? Are you viewing people with kind intentions, with a really pure heart? Are you viewing them with, oh, they're just going to get here to hurt me. They all have like second intentions. They are going to stab me behind my back, right? Um, how are you seeing the world? And I feel like it's like, look at your options. Look at the world in a different way. And be confident in looking at the world in that way. Because it's like, if you're the type of person that is kind, that always has a nice word to say, that is kind to others, that always supports them, there are more people like you out there. And maybe there's even this feeling of look at the people you already have around you and see the goodness in their hearts. You're already connected with those people. So there are more people like those out there, right? Another message is if this is that case of uh, you don't know your parents, you don't know your grandparents, something around those lines, um, they don't have to necessarily be bad people. And maybe there is this feeling of you have this really clear perspective on someone because of stories that people have told you. Be open to being surprised. Be open to receive new information okay i feel like in the end your advice is be open to see the world in a new way to see people in a new way i feel like especially people be open to surprises to things just like showing up out of the blue like a book just falling into your lap literally <laughs> be open to it be open to surprises and especially be open to step out of your comfort zone and have some small talk okay because this could literally be 
like an old lady, an old man at the bus stop. And it just starts with a, oh, hi, good morning. Today the weather is really nice, right? It just starts like that. And then all of a sudden the bus is late. And so it's like, ah, oh, man. And and, it, and maybe you're, you're kind of all stressed out because you had um, an interview or something. And that person kind of catches that nervousness. And it's like, are you okay, dear? Do you, do you need something? Are you going somewhere? And you kind of open up and you just have that bond and you start connecting in that way. And then you start seeing that same person over and over again on that bus stop at the same time. Um, allow yourself to be surprised by the universe and allow yourself to connect with people, okay? They're really beautiful, kind people and this is one of them. And they're going to help you so much, especially spiritually and in self-growth, okay? So let's get some timing here for you. For when you may be meeting this person. The timing has been quite fast, actually. Any, any other timing? Okay. So we have Libra, which Libra season, if you're watching this when the video is uploaded, is pretty soon. We also have 24 hours. We have the 19th. We have September, yeah, so Libra season could be quite significant. We also have December, Cancer, and 14. So we have over here 14, 19, that could be a significant time. We also have, I'm even getting this as like the 24th could also be significant. Um, but Cancer season, which is like late June and the majority of July, could also be relevant. But yeah, I, I would even say... If you're watching this in September, it might be, but I'm, I'm getting it more has, it may not be straight away. It may not be straight away. So if you're watching this around September, maybe it's December, right? If you're watching this around December, maybe it's cancer season. If you're watching this in cancer season, it's September, right? There's this feeling of there may be a little bit of time, but I don't think they are that far away, to be honest. And we even have 24 hours, right? So, um... Yeah, so, pound number four, this was lovely. Um, I hope this resonated and helped. If it did, don't forget to smash like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, don't forget to leave me a little old lady emoji in, this, in, the, in the comments for me to know that uh, this is your pal and that you enjoyed it and you watched it till the end. And if you're interested in diving deeper into this, um, feel free to check my description box where I have prior readings and my Patreon for weekly messages around spiritual guidance, twin flame, um, connection, self-care, all of that. And that is it. So I love you very much. I wish you the best and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.